Florence and Mona have just come back to their room. They finished watching the movie Anna and have come back to get ready for dinner. Oh, I just love that movie. I could watch it a hundred times and never get tired of it. That little orphan Annie sure was lucky to have Daddy Warbucks to take her in for Christmas. Yes, Mona. But why did he have to choose an orphan to take home for Christmas? Why not a little old lady from a rest home? Well, I guess because little red-headed orphan is much cuter. Not <laughs> I'm cute. Ain't I cute? <laughs> Myrna, well, don't burst my bubble. I don't want Daddy Warbucks to come and get me. I don't care a thing about old men. Just, uh, I, I didn't have a picture-perfect life like you did. I bet your house looked like something out of a storybook at Christmas time, didn't it? Yeah, I guess you're right. Uh, we always had snow at Christmas and everything was just perfect. And, you know, I just, I just thought it smelled like heaven would, would be, you know. And, but I'm going to miss my children this year. They're not going to ever come and see me.
don't call me. I don't know. Uh, I've got to. I've got to know what they'll say. I just can't believe that they wouldn't show the love of God here at Christmas. I never thought my children would be <clears throat> so selfish. Oh, it's too slow for bed clothes. Uh, I've got to make some phone calls. I promise it won't take long. Okay, but when I come back, we have to get you ready for bed. Thank you. Okay. <coughs> so, so, Florence, have I told you about Joy? I'm pretty sure you have. Well, did I tell you why we named her Joy? Mm -hmm. Because that's what she was, such a joy. service at church, but I got a minute. What is it? Well, I won't keep you long. I just wanted to ask you a favor. Uh, I have a friend named Genevieve, and uh, she needs a family for Christmas. Uh, she's very lonely, and I was hoping maybe she could come and spend some time with your family. I told her how what nice children I had, and that was at least, they, at least one would take her in. You mean you want her to, like, come here and stay with us? <laughs> yeah. Since I can't come here and come there to see all of you, I was hoping maybe she could come and take my place. It's just for three days, and you'll do it, won't you, Joy? I don't know, Mom. I'm going to have to go ask Paul what he thinks about it. Hold on a second. Okay. Paul is just the nicest, Joy. I can't say nothing. Hey, Mom, you there? Yeah, what did Paul say? Well, he did remind me the baby's got an awful cold, and... You know, that's just real contagious, especially with older people being so fragile. I wouldn't want her to get sick just by coming here to visit. You understand, don't you, Mom? Yes, I understand. Well, you go on to church now. All right, I'm sorry. Good night. Good night. <laughs> Let's get ready for bed, Marty. You tried your best. No, I've got to call Dale. Uh, did I tell you about Dale? Or would you forget that we were here? You can't get rid of me that easily. Of course I 